Hi, and welcome to the video how to configure email approvals. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps to approve by email. Also, I'm going to show you a demo so you can see how this functionality works. There are three main steps we need to follow in order to activate this feature. The first one is related with organization-wide settings. Here, we need to activate the option Enable Email Approval Response. Second step is related with the profile settings. In the profile, we need to activate the checkbox API Enable. And the third step is related with the email format. When replying to an email approval request, you need to type in the first line either Approve or Reject. And in the second line, you can add comments. So let's configure email approvals in Remedy Force. Let's go to Setup. Under Process Automation, select Process Automation Settings. Activate the checkbox Enable Email Approval Response and save the changes. Now, let's open the Approver Profile. In this case, I am the Approver, so I'm going to open my profile, which is Service Desk System Administrator. Open the option System Permissions. Click on Edit and activate API Enable. Finally, let's set up an approval process and let's see if the email approval feature is working. I have an existing approval process. If you don't know how to create it, I recommend you to watch our video how to create an incident or service request approval process in our YouTube channel. So I'm going to open my approval process in the incident object. As you can see, I have a basic criteria. Description should be equals to approval process. In the approval assignment email template, I'm using the out of the box template called Incident Approval Required Email. This email template already contains an explanation on how you can approve by email. As you can see, you can reply with any of these words and the record will be either approved or rejected. Coming back to the incident approval process, I have only one approval step. And as you can see, I am the approver. It's important to note the email approval is not supported when the approver is a queue. Being this said, let's create a new incident record and let's see how the email approval works. In Remedy Force Console, I'm going to create a new incident record. In order to meet the approval process criteria, I need to type in the description field approval process. Save it. And now let's submit this record for approval. Click on Action, Submit for Approval. Once the incident was submitted for approval, I can see in the approval section, it is pending for approval. And here, you can see that I am the approver. I just received this email approval request. As you can see, I'm getting the incident record and explains that I need to reply with any of these words. I'm going to approve this record by clicking on reply. In the first line, I'm going to approve the record. Second line, I'm going to add comments. Click on send. And now, as you can see, the status show pending. I'm going to reload the form. And the record has been approved successfully. This concludes the video, how to configure email approvals. Thank you for watching.